Okay, good evening. It's 11.42 p.m. Okay, wait. Okay, so I'm showing you how to automate the saving of the family per selection using uh, the roots applications. Uh, I just uh, installed and download and installed this application and I'm doing a processes, Beam Revit processes here using the roots and other softwares. I recommend PyRevit also. But if you are like me, uh, for example, you don't want to pay and by only also you can download it all in Revit applications. And uh, we are really thankful with uh, the Roots company for providing all those uh, automations and Revit applications. So you should grab it. Uh, it's your opportunity. If you miss it, it's already free, then it's your loss. So anyway, I'll show you the tricks on how to save uh, multiple fami families, rabbit families. For example, this is a furniture families, and how you to use it using Family Revisor. If I show you here in a background hidden view. Okay, I have multiple families here. Okay, at the background. We don't want that because it will take time to save and export all those family individually. So, all right. The purpose of this one is that what if the client wants to uh, save family, each of the family, and then also after you save individual Revit family, you export also in AutoCAD, export in... Uh, SKP. The only automation that I found so far is this uh, family advisor in um, in from the roots. But for the automation we export AutoCAD, maybe I will search in the internet. Okay, individually. So right now, just focus on the roots. So okay, just select all the family you want to export. Okay, after selection, go to the DRUTS Revit Applications, Family Revisor. Okay, uh, let's go to the 2016. So you see, there's no family here. So selected, then by categories, and then model. Okay, and you change this one to by family name and type. Why? Because the default one here, this is the going to save, not here. Although this one is more or less, 20, uh, I think, 24. But this is actually the family that they are going to save. I mean, the so the application. If you can see here, all the furniture families are here. I don't want that. So, the trick here is you unselect first. Here. So, there's no more selection of... Um, what you call this? Of families. You just un unselect and select all again. So let's check what will happen. If this is so the same, no? There are still many families here. Unselect again. And then you go over here or Okay, wait. Uh. Model. If you can see here, it has a family type. So you see, there's no more family for savings here. So just experiment here. I think I selected family name. And then you select it here one by one. Okay, 
Let's see if I can go. I don't know, but this is my process. Okay. So after you select this one, so this one now is 12, ah, uh, 24. Then you're ready to export to 2016. Save this one. Unassigned family save to root folder. What? Save okay, save. So you can see four link two five way. Let's check here. Okay, three, two, five way. Then after that beam. So here is it. So now you are correct. Actually I already saved it in advance. This is the family. Okay. Just showing you the process. So we take time, it will read. How many minutes are we? Okay. Just read. Okay, done. It's already here. So yeah, that's how you do it. You can close this one. And then let's check again. By categories. Um, save. Anyway, that's the process for now. I don't know how 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 I can ah this one ah the same anyway so same process I don't know what, but as you can see it's already here so yeah uh, that's the process for now. And I'm finished. Anyway, uh, just showing my family here. I think I already covered it in my previous video. So, if you want to place here, maybe 4,000. Okay. Same with here. Anyway, thank you.